Ahoy there, internet and amazing creatures of the beyond. Ah, where did we left off? Oh, yes. So, I have created a new file and I separated the, the hair file from the face file for the moment. I'm not sure if the face is going to include the neck, but uh, I suppose not. Because there's still quite a bit of detail going on that maybe we'll have to skip on some aspects. Like, for example, this shade here is not so preeminent when you go out. We shall see. But now let's just focus on the things that we have here. And we have the lips. Then we have the face and the ear, of course. And then there is this part, which is sort of like um, a continuation of the hair. It's it's the hair outline of the scalp. So we shall see. We shall see how we can do this. I think this is going to be a bit tricky. But before we start... We need, and I devised a new way of creating this. So I put an image. Now I'm kind of working in uh, organized uh, mode, you know. So this is the background image that we're working on. And for an easier way of seeing how to apply these uh, colors and so on, I thought of putting another image on top. And this way we can kind of see when things get out of out of well here there is a bit but then again the nose has a little blur on it so it's difficult to get the best of the best so we'll do with what we have and we can also apply the colors from on top directly on bottom we shall see so i will take this and i will apply the color of I don't know, let's say something about here, maybe here, and let's see. Okay, we can work with that. This is just the base, so we can start having a base that we can add more uh, shades and so on. And let's see where we could start. Maybe I should start with the hairline. I think the hairline is going to need, or maybe no, because I see that there are some shadows here and this will require a bit of retouching afterwards. So I'm going to leave this for last. Hmm. I think we should try to make the shape of the face first then. But I mean the interior of the muscle face. So, in this order of ideas, let's see. I'm gonna make this the hairline. And these are the lips, which have to be on top for some reason, which I forgot. And this one, let's create this one, Futures. Okie dokie, karaoke. I'm just going to leave this uh, on the side. And... Huh. Actually, I am thinking something here. Uh, let's see, this hairline. Happens to go over here. Even if we get out. Um, our hair is going to mask it. So then we could technically... So the hair has to be on top of the face. And in this situation, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the features, duplicate it, 
click it on top of the face. I'm gonna make it as a mask. This is gonna happen on the outside. So it will be a bit tricky how we're gonna do it, but we'll see. We'll take it slow. So in this situation, I have to apply this mask to the face. So we're just gonna go set clip and voila, everything in the mask in includes this, um, these groups. So perfect. I think that works perfectly. Hmm. Although I, th I mistakenly put the lips inside. So the lips should be on top of the face. Okay, and then I'm not sure about the hairline. The hairline, maybe I should put it on top of the hair of the of the face as well, right underneath hair. Technically, it should be into the hair, but. Hmm. It kind of resides on the face, so we're just gonna keep it here for now. We shall see, we'll organize things better as we go. So, now that we have this and we saved, hmm, let's see. Um, I'm thinking of doing this shape. So, we have a very soft color that we see that it goes something like this. It can go something around this place. And it goes like this, this, this. And then we can kind of end it over here. We're gonna add more uh, shading afterwards. So. Mm, let's take ourselves a little pen tool and just kind of try to to see. It's a bit difficult sometimes because this is a very subtle gradient here. So it goes a little like this and hmm, actually trying to figure out but it's a bit difficult. Actually, let's not do it like that. Let's do it like so. Or maybe the forehead goes a bit like this. I don't know, some, somehow I see it like this. And this one is going to have, I don't know, this color. So let's see how this looks so far. So we have this. This one, oops, I put it in the wrong spot. So it should be here. So we're going to smooth it. Just like that, maybe a 50. Oh, okay, okay. Now that, uh, let's get the hairline a bit out of the way for now. Just so that we get a bit more a little bit of space. Yeah, I think this works okay. Let's see. Perfect. So here in the front hand, uh, there is, there are quite a bit of muscles that go across 
like this. And then you have muscles that come this way. Uh, let me get an example. Um, Actually, I'm wrong. <laughs> um, there we go. I think this shall do. Uh, so the muscles, maybe this one looks OK. So the muscles come like this. Then you have the side that, um, well, maybe this will look better. Let's try. So uh, you have ridges that are more condensed over here across, above the nose, the nose arch. And then you have general uh, muscles that ridges of the muscle that go like this. And then you have this part, which is a bit more accentuated than it's here. And then you have the cross of the nose, the cross uh, muscles of the nose and so on and so forth. And then these are important because these are the, mus the most important muscles of the face that control well the face has the most muscles obviously so we, we can't go over everything but the idea is that these muscles are kind of controlling your mouth uh, your cheeks uh, then you have muscles that go like this here so this is a very organic shape that we have to follow so following them even the cranium that sits underneath uh, kind of molds the muscles. You see it here, it's happening to be an arch. So muscles are very elastic and they shape over what they're set up on. In this case, our, um, our um, bones. And even these muscles are extremely powerful, even though they do not look so. Then you have the muscles of the mouth, although these are a bit more prominent towards the front. Since our subject is something similar to this, this part is going to be, well, negligible for us. But this part, uh, we're going to have to focus on some things, especially the forehead, since that is in, in front view, and then the cheekbones, and even the jawbone at one point is going to be defined over here. So we, we kind of have to see how we can overlap these muscles on top of the skin. I mean the skin on top of the muscles. Ah, okay, okay. So since we have this happening over here, and you see how smooth the, the skin is. We don't see the these things, especially when we grow older. Obviously, these become more um, obvious. But for now, everything looks smooth. So we are going to define this part as the forehead, and on the forehead we are going to add now i'm kind of thinking should i create this as a mask i think i might have to at one point or maybe not we shall see um the idea is that now we have to have another part that's this is a bit trickier because then you have something like this. Hmm. Maybe a mask would help us here. Let's do it. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna duplicate it, 
I'm going to group this one behind and I'm going to make this as a mask. I'm going to leave it blurred. And let's set the clip. Maybe we don't even need to blur this one. And we simply need to blur. Oh no, actually we do need to blur that one. Oops. Uh, because if I try to apply it to the mask, it's going to blur everything inside the mask. Ah, it's a bit tricky. Although there are some ways to do it with uh, the, the mask itself. I mean, using mask, not clip. But we shall see. So, uh, right now we're covering the eyebrows. But we shall address those later. Right now I'm more interested into creating this shape. And this shape... Well, this shape is something like this for now and then we have another shape that goes a little bit like this and then we have one more shape that goes a bit like this Perfect. Let's see what we did over here. First of all, let me take this color. Oops. <laughs> Oops. I didn't realize I... Uh, I didn't set the colors yet. So that one is like that. This one... Oh, oops. This one is like this. And I'll have to enlarge that. And then this one, sort of like this, but we're going to have the hairline on top, so it's going to be all right. And now if we remove this, um, Uh, what is missing here? I should put this inside this. That was the main problem. And now we should... Well, I'm going to individually blur them. Let's see, this one is going to be something like so. Uh, this one like so, and this one like so. But I'm not happy with this color. Or perhaps I'm not happy with... Um, this color, let's see, it should be a little pinkish. Yeah, there we go. And then we have this shape over here, which needs to be a little darker. Ha <laughs> we have some issues. Hmm. Yeah, I see an issue here. 
um, this actually has to be oops like so I needed to to make the intersection because it's not blurry enough on this side hopefully it's gonna be alright else I'm gonna try to kind of patch it up here we shall see and this one can go a nudge darker what the hell ah that darker darker maybe even more or maybe take a bit out of this one something like so and maybe this one and now you just have to do this I think it's starting to get something and it's gonna be difficult because then the hairline has to come on, on top but we we will figure it out because always the edges are going to be problematic at one point okay so we've created this shape now let's see we have a bump here well this is the front of the cranium so usually this is like sort of a box in a way and i think this are this is a vein but this is gonna be covered by the by the hairline so we're not gonna bother too much with that so one way that I see this happening here is that we have this sort of a bulge like so 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 well maybe a little bit larger and so which is gonna have this color and then on top of this bulge we have a little shadow that's a bit darker than the rest now let's see how this looks what happened to the other one um, maybe a bit darker Oops. Okay, okay, we can work with that. And what about this one? Okay, it's starting to shape up. Now let's see if it fits. I think one more increment here and i feel like there is a bit of um, gradient happening here like so And also a gradient that goes like so from over here and now let's see perfect i think that's starting to look a bit better um then we have to complement with the highlight over here huh. As you can see, there are quite a lot of parts happening with the... Uh, because usually this is what most people don't understand with, uh, with the surfaces. They see, oh, it's just a gradient from this lightened part towards this dark. And so I'm just going to do a gradient and then I'm... No, if you're going to take the shortcuts, you're always going to see 
things that look weird. But if you're going to put in the time to look at the smaller details, like for example, there is this subtle, subtle line here. It makes all the difference in the world over here. Because this is the part of the cranium that, um, of the forehead, sorry, that is defined by the muscle. And here, this is, let me see. I suppose that this part is this part over here, up on top of the eyebrow. And this part is where the, the rest of the, well, actually it goes like this technically. But here it, the distance is a bit bigger because we have the eyebrow on top. So the eyebrow is happening over here. So we'll have to be careful with these little details. They're uh, subtle but important. And let's see. I might have taken a bit too strong over here. Yeah, we shall we shall fix everything. The, but right now we have to kind of get uh, an idea of what we are doing. So we want a highlight over here. And this highlight is, first of all, something a bit... Let's it's, this is the first highlight. And then we have the second highlight, which is happening over here. And then we have a third highlight, which is happening right over here. Oh my god. My phone is crazy. Okay. So let's try to see how this looks. As expected. So we're going to blur the hell out of this we have 50 and this one we're gonna go to 40 and this one we're gonna go with uh, 30 maybe a little well maybe I'm gonna improve a little bit yeah, something like so maybe a 40 is good okay we can work with that. <laughs> and looks like uh, Neanderthal right now. But this is what happens. We have to build layers upon layers upon layers with muscles and fibers and so on. And towards the end, it's gonna start to look like something. So I'm trying to think what side of this is gonna be? Hmm. Actually, I think we could do something over here. So we could take something like so. and try to do it like this. Let's see how this looks. Okay, this one should be underneath. Something like this. And we have to see what we can do about this part. Now, here, personally, I would do a duplicate. Let's put it at the end. And I'm going to kind of cut it. So I'm going to put an anchor over here and an anchor. Well, actually, I don't need any more anchors. So I'm just gonna take these parts, delete them, 
delete this and create something like this and we're going to well I'm gonna put it on top for now so I can create the gradient so I'm gonna do a gradient something like so Okay, and now we're going to put it at the end. And let's play with uh, that gradient. Why is it? Why did it move? Hmm. Suppose I put it too down. Oops. Yeah, something like this. And I will have to articulate some things here and there. Maybe this one needs, maybe this one is too strong. Let's uh, remove it and remove a bit of color. Oh, the other way. My mistake. Make it a bit thinner. Uh, okay. We're starting to get a shape over here. There is still a lot to consider that there is more happening on on uh, this part. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Is there anything in particular happening over here? There is one more thing. I think the forehead needs to be a bit brighter. There we go. I know I'm uh, maybe on uh, the, the stream can't pick it up very well, unfortunately, all of this uh, back and forth from my side. So I shall I shall try to finish this offline afterwards. But this is the way I start. So let's try to do something with the hairline and I'm gonna leave it at this. Mm. Obviously this is gonna be Blurred. Let's try to get sort of like, I don't know. Oops, whoa, whoa, this never happened. <laughs> Why are you writing in hieroglyphs? Yeah, 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 I get it. You, you panicked. I did something weird to you. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. 
hopefully it saved where I was. Okay, so we were on this. No, wait, we were on the hairline, sorry. So hairline, I'm gonna go. Ah, so the top model, okay. I'm gonna take something like this for now. That didn't work as expected. Um, something like this, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna simplify it because otherwise it's gonna create a lot of stuff that we do not need. Maybe that there is too much. Uh, 15. 14, 15, something like that. So we can see that this is starting to shape up. And there will be some aspects here that will be worked upon. But now when we look at it, there will be more, more uh, elements. This one is not done yet. This is gonna be on top of the hair and on top of the hairline. So this is gonna be a separate uh, retouch. Then we have some shading over here happening. Um, probably gonna work on this way in later on. We shall see. For now, I'm just leaving it on the side. But as a principal idea, starting to shape up towards something, uh, I'm not totally happy over here. Maybe I should try to reduce this one. And there's still a bit of There's still some things that I'm not super duper happy. If I remove some of the blur. Yeah, uh, this unfortunately is an effect when curves happen, it can't really get the gradient curve with it so I will try to fix this I don't know yet how uh, it will require some extraction outside of the mask something like so but obviously that's not enough and It's, yeah, this, this is unfortunately something that we'll have to live with. Or probably I can come with a mask on top and try to kind of blend it with the color behind it. Uh, but we shall see. It's going to be difficult. Obviously, I'm afraid that I can't do this uh, on stream. All of this... Uh, all of these edits simply because every time I have to enable the image, you see there is a delay and this is not from uh, from um, Inkscape actually, this is from the streaming because the streaming kind of goes frame by frame and it has to um, render in quads, let's call them, or well, like in, in, in little... Um, in little squares, so it can't load everything at once. And sometimes some of those things get stuck, as we can see, until I do some movements, or at least on my side, it looks really weird. So trying to go really fast between this and this and this and this, 
it's gonna create some weird things uh, while I'm working for the, the stream. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna work offline on it and then when I'm gonna do the stream, I'm gonna do mostly explaining and little retouches. So I don't create this flickering, but I hope it will look nice. Also, I have some ideas of how to improve upon some things, but uh, we shall see. So I hope this has been interesting for you guys and you liked it. And if you didn't like it, I'm going to come and check you out at home and we'll have a beer or a tea or whatever you guys have. And we're going to debate it and see how it can be better. But I'm always looking for improvement, of course. Okay, you beautiful creatures of the beyond. Stay awesome. Love you all and catch you next time. Bye, 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 bye.